Hey everybody, it's Melissa with Just a BX Mom. Welcome to Tea Time with Just a BX Mom. Today I had planned on sharing some of my favorite female run businesses with you. And honestly, I'm actually going to be doing that in this, but that's not going to be today's highlight. I think you might be able to see behind me we have a little friend visiting. Um, today is the first day that New York City public schools are officially closed. Overall, I know some schools changed to distance learning last week, but today is the first day that all of New York City schools are closed until April 20th. So that means that I think a lot of you guys are trying to figure out what to do with your children. We have to figure out how to explain to them why schools are closed. We have to figure out how to speak with them age appropriately about what's going on. And I'm not an expert, so I'm not going to tell you what to do and how to talk to your kids because they're your kids. You know how to talk to them. What I am going to do is share some of the resources that I have found, some of the resources that I use regularly with Just a BX Girl, um, some fun things to do. This is our dinosaur, unicorn, mermaid. You can't see, but the dinosaur is wearing a mermaid tail. Um, I just wanted to share some things that can help make your days a little bit more sane. I am sipping on some mango, ginger, and peppermint tea today. So I made a list. I will try to add um, a closing frame with the locations that I'm sharing today, the things that I'm sharing with you so that you can see it out because I'm not going to be fancy and put them all across the video because I am going to be sharing a lot of different resources. But I did write down some of them. There are so many resources out there. It doesn't take that long to Google them or to go to other people's Instagrams and check them out. But these are some of the ones that I am currently using um, and some of the ones that have been currently sent to me. So I wanted to share them with you. First is a lot of us are trying to figure out how to homeschool because it's not in our expertise and schools are still figuring out what distance learning is going to look like for each of them. Now, personally, I've always believed that while my child does go to school, public school, charter school, she goes out the house to be schooled by other people that have more patience than I do. I've always believed in having a supplementary education happen at home. And so you probably seen me hashtag homeschooling, unschooling, um, world schooling, things like that, because I do believe that education doesn't stop when we pick them up from school. So we have had a lifetime membership to education.com for about maybe four years now, three or four years now. And it is some of the best money I have ever spent. So with that, it includes these guided lessons which means that Just the BX Girl gets to go on her iPad and play learning games, go on her laptop and type and do things that are running along the same lines of what she's doing in school. So that is a paid resource. Education.com does offer plenty of free resources. So if you want to print worksheets, if you want ideas on projects, definitely check them out. If you are looking to invest in something that is going to be for longer than just the time that you think your school is going to be closed. I know everybody's schools aren't closed as long as New York City schools, but I do know that some schools have closed for the rest of their semesters and things like that. So if you're looking to invest in something and your child is in elementary school, I do recommend education.com. Um, we had ABC Mouse when she was a baby and it wasn't a favorite of mine. It doesn't mean it doesn't work for you. Some families I know really, really love ABC Mouse. So that is another resource. I think they both offer trial periods. I'm doing. I'm going against um, recommendations on touching my face. I can't help it. I can't help touching my glasses. Please try to refrain. Remember to wash your hands a bunch of times, but that's not why you're in this video. So education.com is something that we use regularly, so I wanted to talk about that first. Something else that we play regularly are Dr. Panda games. They don't always, from the first part, sometimes they just seem like a lot of fun for the little kids. They are for our younger kids, but at seven, Just the BX Girl still enjoys playing Dr. Panda games. Um, I just told her that there's five new apps from Dr. Panda that are free, so we're going to be downloading those to her iPad once we make some room on it. I can't remember what the five are. I believe one of them is Dr. Panda in Space. One of them is Dr. Panda in Toto's Treehouse, which we already have. 
One of them might be a town game or a school game, but there's five new Dr. Pandas that are free. So head to the app store, head to Dr. Pandas social media to check out which five those are. I'm gonna try to add them to the blog this week so that you can know about that. You can download them again. Great supplementary material. You can build it into whatever you're doing with your kids for education. And it also gives them some screen time pardon me, some screen time where you can let them enjoy their space and their time on the screen and plugged in and you can have some quiet time yourself because we're going to need quiet time in these days. Um, Khan Academy is a homeschooling website which offers free membership so you can have your, you can log in there and create a profile for your children. You can sign them up to do lessons there. We checked it out today, I think, because we're coming from education.com, which is very playful, to Khan, which is more lesson-oriented. We have to kind of figure out that adjustment and how it works for us. Um, but they have some really good material. Even in Just the BS Girls age group, which is seven, they have coding classes for the kids to take. So that's a really cool thing so that they can learn how to computer program at a young age. Um, they cover some of the stuff that she's doing in school already around grammar. So that's what we worked on a little bit there today so that she listened to some of those lessons. And it was really cool to be able to see that she's on task and on point with what she's supposed to be doing in school. Scholastic has shared that they're going to have free resources on their website. So I suggest you guys check that out. I'm not sure if you guys have been to my blog today, but I shared a new podcast that's out for families called The Imagine Neighborhood which I really, really liked. I think that the first episode is perfect for what's happening right now. The first episode talks about fear, some around separation anxiety. So it's a great way when we're learning to talk to our children about what's happening in the world right now. You know, the news can be overwhelming for us and we understand what's going on, but when all our kids hear is death rates and schools closing and not being able to go to the movies and things like that, they probably have their own sense of fears that they don't know how to articulate. So listening to things like the Imagine Neighborhood, which shares social emotional learning and opportunities for us to talk to our kids about these things, I think it's a great place to go. The link is on my website right now, um, so feel free to check that out. The first two episodes are out. Me, my child loves the second episode. The clouds are made of cake. That's what it's called, right? The clouds are made of cake. That is her favorite episode out of the four that we listened to. So you can kind of get an idea that it is very engaging for children. She wanted to listen to more after we listen to four of them. So check out the Imagine Neighborhood. It's available on all podcast places, but you can get the link directly on my website. And then there's a couple of accounts I wanted to share from um, Instagram with you guys that have resources that are sharing, um, are sharing activities that you can do or sharing updates i've been trying to put stuff in my stories that i see from other accounts i know strive higher ny is doing the same she's trying to make sure that you have all the latest info she's sharing resources from other creators so always check out strive higher ny's account um jalila's art studio is one of my favorite creative accounts for kids jalila does some amazing work and you can check out she just created a whole resource guide for parents for things to do. So you can see that on her site. Um, homeschooling the Hood. I love all the stuff that Jenny does. She reminds us that homeschooling doesn't have to look like sitting at a desk and it doesn't always have to stick with the rainbow schedule. If a rainbow schedule that we've seen popping around works for you, then go for it. Do it. Follow what works for your family. But Jenny does a great, great, great job of reminding us that we know our children and we know how to teach our children. Um, definitely reach out to her if you have questions about homeschooling, if you're trying to figure out if it makes sense for you, what to do, how to handle this distance learning. If after spending the month home educating your child, you realize that you don't want to send your child back to school, definitely reach out to Homeschooling the Hood because she is a great resource. Um, also, I got to give a shout out to my baby girl, Just a BX Girl. We actually started a read it, a reading series on her Instagram and her YouTube last week. She read her first book story. Well, second one, well, her second one went up yesterday. 
um, we just recorded two more, so those will be going up. I'm sorry, three more today, so those will be going up in the next three weeks. So if you're looking for something to do, some kids don't really enjoy reading. Reading is a really big thing in our home. I've read to her since she was in my belly. She's been reading for a while now. She really enjoys chapter books now, so she's sharing her love of reading with others on Instagram and YouTube. So check out Just the BX Girl and see if you want just some time again, quiet time. If you have a little that doesn't know how to read yet, let Just the BX Girl read your little story. If you have a bigger little that doesn't want to read, show them that other kids are making reading cool again. Um, so those are the ones that I want to share with you. If you have resources, send them to me, DM me on Instagram, tag me on Twitter, shoot me an email, justthebxmom at gmail.com. I will try to share resources on my site. I'm not focusing too much on the science behind what to do. We all know how to wash our hands. I don't have to do a tutorial teaching you to wash your hands as you sing happy birthday two times. I'm not going to teach you how to make hand sanitizer because I don't know how to make hand sanitizer. What I want to do is share resources to help you keep sane and help you keep your kids happy during this time. So if there's anything I can do to support you and your family, please let me know. Until next time, bye.